Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Thanks so much for returning. Um, my name is Leslie, aka Leslie Adina here on YouTube and my videos are all around luxury, shopping, sometimes Korea, so that sounds like a thing, definitely consider subscribing. And yeah, before I ramble on any further, let's get straight into the video. For today's video, I thought I'd film an unboxing and first impressions on an item I recently ordered online from Louis Vuitton. Um, I realized that um, with most of the boutiques, at least in Germany, being closed down, uh, that there has been a lot more stock on the Louis Vuitton website, especially items that are usually quite hard to find. Um, I saw the Pochette Matisse pop up um, several times in the monogram canvas. Um, a friend of mine saw the Multi Pochette, which is like super hyped up at least uh, last year, and I believe it's still kind of popular. But yeah, definitely stalk the Louis Vuitton website, and maybe you're lucky and uh, you'll find out an item that you've been looking for for ages and never have been able to track down. And yeah, maybe now is the time given the current situation. So here's what I treated myself to. Um, you might already know what it is given uh, the title of the video, but uh, I mean, from the size of the box, you are also able to tell that it's a small leather good or SLG. Um, this isn't a true unboxing, I already filmed an unboxing for my Instagram, which by the way, feel free to check me out over there. Um, it's the same handle as on my YouTube, so Leslie Adina, all spelled together. Uh, yeah, but without further ado, let's do the unboxing. Uh, by the way, um, since I ordered it online, it uh, obviously does come with the return label and stuff, but um, I'm not planning to return this little guy because I'm pretty happy I have it right now. So, comes with his own little dust bag to review. So, this is the Louis Vuitton 6 key holder in monogram canvas with the brown interior. Armoniac is what it said online, and I hope I didn't butcher um, the French, uh, French pronunciation. Uh, yeah, so it basically, is. Um, a way to organize your keys. There are six little hooks right here you can attach your keys on. Um, I might do a cutaway um, and um, film you closer, but don't mind my hands and they are kind of dry because of all the hand sanitizers and hand washing. But um, you can slide out this little bar on the sides and then attach your keys um, to the individual hooks. So what I'm going to do in this video is um, go through my thought process on why I decided to um, buy this uh, little key holder. Um, also, I'll share with you my first impression when it comes to quality and um, how it will work for my keys, um, which I'll be transferring into the key holder um, in a few seconds. And um, also, I'll show you a comparison with another Louis Vuitton item that's kind of similar. Um, and a lot of people um, use this guy for their keys. And this is the Louis Vuitton pochette clé um, or key pouch. Um, and yeah, I'll show you um, why I decided to go for this one for my keys, this is um, usually used for, uh, I usually use it for coins or credit cards, like a mini, mini sized wallet if I don't have to carry around that much um, on a specific occasion. So um, yeah, this one wouldn't work out for my keys and I'll tell you why. Um, yeah, so let's get started with this little guy. Um, so as I said, this comes with six keys. I believe Louis Vuitton also did um, produce it with um, the four key um, hooks, but I want to say they have discontinued it since. Um, I'm not too sure on that one. Please uh, let me know if you have any infos on that. But um, I was happy to take the six key one because I do have quite a number of keys. Also, as I said, um, I bought my key holder with the brown interior and they do produce it with a fuchsia interior and maybe blush pink, but I'm not too sure on that one. Definitely uh, a fuchsia, so a bright pink. Um, which is super pretty too, but from what I've heard in other YouTube videos is that um, on the fuchsia ones, um, this little button, which is uh, brass or like yeah, some gold uh, color right here, um, is also covered um, in fuchsia, maybe leather or some, uh, some other kind of fabric. And that um, should show some wear and tear pretty quickly, some rubbing or discoloration. And I wasn't too fond of the idea of um, yeah, buying a, um, an item that I would be using on a day-to-day -day basis and going into the purchase knowing that it will show wear and tear after one or two weeks, given that um, obviously it's a luxury item, it's a small one, yes, but it's still, uh, I want to say it retails for 175 euros. Um, I'll put the details on here and also the US pricing if you're interested in that. 
Um, so yeah, I definitely wanted to make sure that um, I will be buying the most hard wearing and durable version of the key holder. So here we are, as I said, don't mind my uh, dry hands, um, but I wanted to quickly show you how you can attach your keys onto this key holder. So what you want to do is press down one of these sides. Either side should work, but I'm going to go for that one and slide the bar with the hooks to one side and um, then you'll be able to take out these hooks individually and attach your keys on there. I'll do that for you um, without the camera and I'll be back once I'm done with attaching my keys and yeah. So I'm back, I've attached all my keys to the key holder, it was super easy, it took me a maximum of one minute and um, obviously you might be a little cautious with your fingernails, especially if you have nail polish or like acrylics or something on um, because obviously you have to fiddle around with it but it's perfectly fine in my opinion and uh, yeah it was, uh, it was a super easy process and now I can enjoy my new key holder and um, I know for sure that I'll be um, super happy with it especially um, because I know that um, I like the concept of having a key holder from my um, past experience um, this little guy right here um, will end up in the trash because obviously it was super cheap and um, it's done its purpose over the last two years but uh, yeah I'm super happy to have upgraded to this beauty right here and uh, yeah one thing I wanted to point out is um, I watched a couple of review videos before I'm um, going in and purchasing this guy and some creators have pointed out that um, these hooks might be a little too short for your specific um, need maybe because your lock is at a really strange angle and you would end up um, slamming your key holder against the door frame or, um, or anything like that so um, an idea would be to um, take a simple key hook um, or key ring and um, yeah, put it between the key and the um, hook from the key holder so that you um, have a little more wiggle room uh, when it comes to opening or closing your door. That might be an idea. Um, I'll have to try that one out and um, see if I feel comfortable using this on its own or if I will um, end up attaching a key ring to the keys I use more frequently because I don't want to risk um, putting unnecessary strain on um, the canvas. Obviously um, canvas is super hard wearing and yeah the button right here might end up getting scratched but um, if I can prevent that or um, yeah, prolong the life of my key holder I'll definitely do that and maybe the key ring is a good idea to do so. I'll definitely keep you updated and yeah let me know down below in the comments if um, you want me to film a review video after six months or a year of um, yeah, using the key holder on a daily basis and um, I'll be happy to um, film a video for you um, after I've been using it constantly and uh, yeah, show you, show you the wear and tear and um, how I've been enjoying using the key holder. As I said in the beginning, I want to quickly compare the um, pochette clé with the um, key holder. Um, as I said, I'm not too much of a fan of using this guy for my everyday keys just because this guy happens to be my longest key um, and with this chain being kind of long, um, if I attach it to the hook right here, let me do that quickly. In my opinion, it's kind of a hassle because um, the chain alone uh, goes all the way to the other side of the pochette clé and then you have to basically fold your keys and put them inside and especially if you have more than one key, um, maybe six as I have or even more, um, it gets kind of tangled inside the pochette clé and um, you'll have difficulties taking your key keys out and maybe you end up cutting yourself because obviously keys um, might be kind of sharp. So yeah, I much prefer the organization that the key holder is offering with um, being able to lay down your keys um, side to side and uh, yeah, that way they don't get tangled and you won't end up hurting yourself um, with the keys. So yeah. Um, however, I do enjoy the pochette clé for other purposes. I, as I said, um, I use it for holding coins or cash, maybe a few cards if I um, don't have to carry around a full-size wallet. Another great way to make use of this little guy is for your car keys. Um, I gave my parents um, the exact same one, the um, pochette clé monogram canvas, a couple of years ago. and. They, um, they have been using it for their car key ever since and really enjoy it. Just be cautious of whether your car key um, will fit into this guy. Um, some keys don't um, have the flap mechanism and so the key part of the key fob will stick out and maybe it might be too long um, to fit into the um, pochette key comfortably. So just um, keep that in mind and maybe take your car key um, to the boutique if you happen to um, be inside one. Um, after they've reopened, of course, um, and yeah, try out if 
your key will fit inside the pochette clip. So yeah, that does it for my second YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed it and, and that I was able to help you if you are currently thinking of adding the key holder to your luxury collection. Also, please feel free to um, leave me down in the comments any video suggestions that you might have that you want me to talk about um, and also feedback, constructive criticism is always welcome. I'm quite new to YouTube um, and there's so much more to, for me to learn, so definitely let me know if you have any suggestions on what I can work on or improve. Yeah, as I said, thanks so much for watching and please consider subscribing, uh, giving me a thumbs up, that would be great and until next time, bye!